Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, August the 30th, and today is the second anniversary of the death of Brother Stephen Edward Burke of the Mercy of God community. The scripture for the service, Psalm 93, Acts chapter 10, verse 17 to 33. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. Psalm 93. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. You also establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods have lifted up their waves. You are on high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are sure and holiness becomes your house forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, beginning at verse 17. Now, while Peter was greatly puzzled about what to make of the vision that he had seen, suddenly the men sent by Cornelius appeared. They were asking for Simon's house and were standing by the gate. They called out to ask whether Simon, who was called Peter, was staying there. While Peter was still thinking about the vision, the spirit said to him, Look, three men are searching for you. Now get up and go down and go with them without hesitation. For I have sent them. And so Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you are looking for. What is the reason for your coming? And they answered, Cornelius, a centurion, an upright and God-fearing man, who is well spoken of by the whole Jewish nation was directed by a holy angel to send for you to come to his house and to hear what you have to say. And so Peter invited them in and gave them lodging. And the next day he got up and he went with them, and some of the believers from Joppa accompanied him. The following day they came to Caesarea. Cornelius was expected them and had called together his relatives and friends. On Peter's arrival, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, worshipped him. But Peter made him get up, saying, Stand up, I am only a mortal. And as he talked with him, he went in and found that many had assembled. And he said to them, You yourselves know that it is unlawful for a Jew to associate with or visit a Gentile. But God has shown me that I should not call anyone profane or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. Now may I ask why you sent for me? And Cornelius replied, Four days ago at this very hour, at three o'clock, I was praying in my house, and suddenly a man in dazzling clothes stood before me. And he said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your alms have been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and ask for Simon, who is called Peter. He is staying in the house of Simon, a tanner by the sea. And therefore I sent for you immediately, 
and you have been kind enough to come. So now all of us are here in the presence of God to listen to what the Lord has commanded you to say. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, who raised up for your faithful servant, who raised up your faithful servant, Stephen Edward, to be a bishop and a pastor of your church and to feed your flock, give abundantly to all pastors the gift of your Holy Spirit, that they may minister in your household as true servants of Christ and as stewards of your divine mysteries. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.